This podcast is brought to you by the Bennett Brothers. All right, well, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Bennett Buzz. We're on episode 11, and we got a very special guest with us, Mr. Justin Corley. Yes, All the way from Nashville, the man himself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So how's it been? How's it been going? I mean, it's been all right, man. You know, just living life, playing music, selling my soul to uh, Broadway, yeah. you know. That's how you Sadly. do it. Yeah. Met a lot of cool people, though. Yeah, dude. I mean, all the time, just like the coolest people you could ever meet. Every day, too. Like, yeah. You know, that's like the whole point, apparently. And everything I tell you, I figured this out like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it's all about meeting people and like networking and yeah. stuff. But if you like hang out at the right places at the right times and stuff, people will be there. Yeah. And like they're all the coolest people you'll ever meet in your life. Like, yeah. It's Anybody I've ever met from Nashville is super friendly. You know? Yeah, dude. Any Everybody's musician. laid back for the most part. Yeah. Any musician I've ever met or artist from Nashville, they're always mm-hmm. like wanting to do more music stuff with yeah. whoever, you yeah. know? So it's always cool. That's what it's all about. I mean, <clears throat> you, it's kind of, you know, you, you kind of want to somewhat find like your selective group to yeah. be a part of and write with. But at the same time, like, you know, you never know who you could meet and who you can hang out with yeah. and write with that you just vibe with. Mm-hmm. And y'all get like a great song, you know? Yeah. It's pretty sick. I was watching, uh, I was watching the Theo Vaughn podcast with uh, Hardy the other day and they were talking about how, um, like you can go into like a writer's round yeah. and um, have an, a, like a really good idea and you like are trying to build it around a certain kind of like group and like you kind of change groups that you write with, mm-hmm. I, I reckon. And like sometimes you'll bring up your idea and people will completely ruin it mm-hmm. is basically what he said. Yeah. And he's like, and then that's like your million dollar idea. Like you can't do anything with anymore. Yeah. You ever feel like that? Like uh, any songs I mean, like you start working on, you're like, nah, never mind. Yeah. Sometimes, I mean, that happens a lot, but there's been times like I've brought a song or an idea into a write and it turned into like a completely different song. And at that yeah. point, like <clears throat> if it's not like going along with what you thought it could be and like the vision, you go with it to a certain extent. But if it's like different and you see like something else could come out of it that might be better than what it's going, you just be like, I think this is a completely different song. Yeah. And yeah. we just start writing on that. You know, I feel like that's how ours, mm-hmm. ours will just a take a turn. Yeah. Like yeah. It's pretty tight. But I, I, I like sometimes I like how that happens. Yeah. Every now and then I'm like, what if we do this? And then that makes it even worse. And then yeah. it's like, whatever. It's just experiment. Yeah. That's all music is really. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, especially writing your own stuff. No, that's dude, just creative. And that's, creativity. Yeah. That's yeah. the that's thing, it. though. Like with creativity and stuff, sometimes you know you get places and like I ain't gonna lie to you. Like the past like year, half year to a year, something like that. My creativity's been kind of off, I but I've been kind of gaining it back lately. Just because it's like you know, I've been seeing the TikToks. Yeah, seeing the TikToks. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, but I mean, why'd you start music? You know. I just love it, dude. Okay. Why'd y'all start music? Same reason. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You love it. You love creating stuff. You like making something like original. Yeah. Rather than like following a trend or doing something that everybody else is doing. Exactly. You know, you're trying to like make something that makes you proud and make you happy. Yep. Yeah. And lately, like I just finally started doing that. Yeah. It's hard. I mean, you get in those phases though where it's like, it's a selfish art. This is is a job. Like this is business Mm -hmm. now. Yeah. yeah. Like you crack down and start working, you know? I mean, and it's just like I'm. I, we had so much fun, like in the beginning. But I also remember always having something in the back of my head, like we need to do this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now it's like slowing down a little bit. Like I'm like, okay, we got enough sound quality for the places yeah. we play at now, mm-hmm. you know. So now I feel good about that. Now it's all about working on like my own personal, yeah. you know, drumming and stuff yeah. like that, technique and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. I was, I sat down all last week and tried to practice before we played at study hall. Yeah, just because like. I just don't have chops on drums, man. Like I like I can do fills and stuff, but like changing like the tempo completely in like a solo or yeah. something like that, trying to get it that like that's hard, dude. Yeah. It's like my yeah. feet and hands aren't coordinated enough. And then yet. everyone's looking yeah. at you. But now I'm starting to I'm starting to get it a little bit more. Yeah. Figuring it out. Yeah. We're all you, getting, getting I've been something going. Like work on playing like some lead stuff lately yeah yeah and like oh am god awful at it like you figure it I'm, out i'm the best at faking anything yeah like yeah i mean yeah <laughs> i have no idea what i'm doing 
yeah. at all with anything. But I mean, some people are that's made honest, for acoustic. That's though. how I yeah, was yeah, for a long time. I'm definitely made for acoustic. Yeah, there's that nothing is, wrong with that. That's factual. Yeah. Or bass. Yeah, dude, bass is fun. Yeah, I bought a bass at a Guitarathon mm. not too long ago with Jackson four string. Oh yeah, it is fun. That's cool. I've been tearing it up. Yeah, I feel like uh, at first it was Austin was always playing acoustic, and then he picked up. Well, like, mainly yeah. that was because we didn't have a bass player for yeah. so long. Mm-hmm. So but once he got that rhythm electric, he said it got way easier. Dude, like, it was so much easier. It is. Just drum. Fatigue-wise like, and everything. My hands, they, yeah. they used to hurt so bad after our three-and-a-half-hour gigs of just straight playing acoustic. Yeah. yeah they, I started learning all a bunch weekend of chords after that. Yeah. And yeah. my fingers would bleed. I'd get the... I'd have blisters on my pinky from just hitting the yeah. wood. Every, oh, yeah, you'd be bleeding on the shows. Oh, yeah. My finger right here, like, yeah, I, I have awful technique, too. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. Back when we first started, when, you know, we were the Black Label Band and stuff here in South Carolina, yeah. um, we'd be playing all the time, and I use, like, heavier gauge strings on my acoustic. But, like, I would, like, get so into it, I would, like, start just, like, smacking my oh, yeah. finger against the oh, strings. Oh, yeah. The pick wouldn't even hit it, and like, there's blood like all inside my. Guitar That's how mine is. Yeah. It's molded. It, yeah, it's, it's all molded. Disgusting. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know what to do about it. So. Candy part two came out of that guitar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, That's that funny. guitar in there's got some got some good stuff written on it. Yeah, yeah. This yeah, okay. is the one I learned on that yeah. little Johnson one. Mm-hmm. It's nothing special. It's just my dad's guitar. I mean, dude, you play whatever you like, you know. Yeah, That's you what's don't cool have with have Gibson, you know. Yeah, Cody comes up with some different stuff. Every now and he now. sends me his stuff. Dude, dude. It's, I vibe with it's it. different. So different. It's tight. Everything is, but like every single song, none of them flow together. It's all like it's different. That's ideas how I feel when stuff. I write stuff. It's like every song that I write. Well, the last couple chord progressions I've come up with kind of have the same feel to them. But I feel like everything that I write is like so much different than the next one. You know, mm-hmm. and I don't know how to keep from doing that. I feel like it's hard for me. If that to, makes sense. Yeah. Well, I mean, something I've learned, and it's something I'm still trying to struggle with too. Like, I talk to a guy, <clears throat> so I play, like, for Tootsies on Broadway a lot of the time, and uh, they put you out at Old Hickory Country Club to play. Every gotcha. now and then they got, like, acoustic duos on Saturday nights from, like, 6 to 10. And out there, you know, you never know who you're going to meet. Right? So I've seen Riley Green out there. I met Cole Swindell there. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, um, <clears throat> and I got to meet Tyler Reeve. He wrote, he co-wrote, um, in case you didn't know, and I think I got away with you by Luke Combs too. Okay. And he like, <clears throat> excuse me. There's like a huge thing that writers there say like your first hundred songs that you write are going to be trash. Yeah. Which I don't typically believe that because I mean you never know. Yeah. You know, it could yeah. be your first song and it could be a freaking banger. Exactly. Yeah. But I mean, never would have met you in Nowhere Kid for me. Those were like the fourth and fifth songs that i wrote they're good so too. dude i love them we'll throw those up here boom yeah bang oh yeah i Check like them out i like adding the sound effects when i pop them up now <laughs> but yeah dude those are good yeah i remember yeah. that that first you you dropped uh never would have met you first right yeah yeah that was whenever in january you, whenever you dropped that one yeah I, I had that thing on repeat man dude i was i still do one. yeah i just i mean you know it's just nice to see and you know some people get kind of skeptical about people that listen to their own music but it's not necessarily listening to your own music because you're like yeah i'm sick i can do yeah. this it ain't that at it's all it's learning just like, from it yeah you're cr- like the whole time if i listen to those songs now i'll be critiquing myself but yeah. at the same time i'll be proud of myself because you know it's my first song i really put out that's, yeah. that's a milestone yeah man. yeah baby steps baby. Yeah, yeah exactly it's cool yeah and i like uh like our songs that we recorded i mean we recorded the ones that we have out right now like yeah. over a year ago yeah right mm-hmm. slow was like oh. Oh, yeah. and so like i like think back now i'm like man i'm way better of a drummer than i was when i recorded that oh, yeah. in the studio you know like i could have definitely done this i would have definitely changed the entire drum beat in bad news because playing it live because it's like do 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 I, or i don't even know what it the kick is yeah. like it's so like i hit it like four times in like a measure like mm-hmm. it's it just like live it doesn't sound as good as if it was in a studio so yeah. i may just like redo that part live but like stuff like that yeah. you know like, like that's just how songs. it goes it's always gonna be like that yeah, yeah. it's never yeah. gonna be exactly what yeah. you want i'm sure like 
some of the legends think about that about some of their oh, songs yeah. too. They're like, uh. I mean, this is the thing, you know, and this kind of goes into like life and stuff, but music ties into it. Everything ties into music, but that's yeah. a different, you know, conversation. But like, you're literally learning until the day you die, you mm-hmm. know? So obviously if you like listen to your stuff and you critique yourself and you be like serious with yourself, like you're going to learn from it. Oh yeah. That's, oh yeah. That's one of the best things about it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's, that's how you make progress pretty much. So yeah. just doing it every single day, trying to figure out how to do it, I guess. Yeah. I mean, seriously, you know, do you think Hardy wrote his first song and it was a like, Peter, it might have been honestly. Probably. It's it's hardy. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways. yeah, sold out, dude. dude. That song's crazy. I bump it. Yeah. I have it. you seen him live? No, but I, want I haven't to either. Really I just want to see that. Yeah, my buddy, um, <clears throat> him and his girlfriend went to see him, and I think they said Augusta or Atlanta, one of the two. But they said he was like really good live. I think that's a big thing with music too, is going to shows and seeing other bands play. Yeah. yeah. Is, really big like i i feel like i don't even enjoy going to concerts anymore because the whole time i'm like criticized watching their yeah. drummer or like seeing like what they're doing to like you know how yeah. fast they're changing songs yeah i'm that's, just like studying that's like, part of learning too though. yeah you know it's the best way to learn yeah like <clears throat> i don't know back before i moved like when i lived in greenwood sometimes i would like lock myself in my room at night and just pull up like YouTube videos of like Zach Wilde playing yeah, and stuff like that. And the way that they acted on stage. And I mean, you know, it's not like I'm playing the same kind of music as Zach yeah. Wilde or like yeah. Pantera was, but I would watch like the way Dimebag and like Phil and El- Anselmo would act. And like, I'd be like, okay, yeah, that's it. Just jumping around. Dude, yeah. That does so much for a crowd. Oh, yeah. I love that. You gotta have some energy. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to get uh, Carlos to do some jumps for us. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was telling him that uh, for uh, the show we like do like the crown bottle thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, that worked pretty well. Yeah, that was pretty. Sick. I don't know where y'all got that tea. It was awful. It wasn't tea. It's probably Milo's. It was crown. <laughs> That's funny. Arizona crown, <laughs> <laughs> watered oh, down man. crown. Lord have mercy. No, but uh, so in Nashville, so like the steps, like if you had to like put it in order, like if you were somebody just moving to Nashville and you were wanting to like, okay, let's say your first time, like whenever you moved to Nashville, what are some things that you wish that you would have known going in, you know? Broadway is all about the money. Yeah. 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 You got some people that'll tell you like, <clears throat> you know, you do this, what you want is a record deal. This is how you do this. Mm-hmm. It's not, no. you're, just, you're just down there playing cover songs. Yeah. It's just more entertainment that, yeah, than it that's is. That's the thing. Yeah. I mean, it's music, you know, literally like the entertainment district, you know? Yeah. But I mean, I wish I would have realized sooner that like, you got to go out and network persistently, bump elbows. And also that it's not just about like, making you know making connections to write with it's making friends and like building like actual good relationships at the same time yeah know? yeah which i'm awful at <laughs> but <laughs> i mean I'm, we hit it off that one time just i mean well that was easy you know yeah you know? i mean i was but, like asking or uh, saying i'd <coughs> fill in for a show so i guess that well the thing is like business sometimes i don't know man it's weird i get nervous around people yeah you know because like another thing would be like, don't compare yourself to anybody else. Yeah, that's because, my problem. Yeah, you'll work yourself up, and I'm the worst about it, you know? Me too. Like, I look at, like, people who I call, like, my peers and my buddies and what they're doing, and I'm like, dang, well, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. But yeah. at the same time, you know, if you start worrying about that too much, you know, you get away from, like, why you're actually doing it. Like, who you, know? you are and what yeah. you do is mm-hmm. different and unique. And I think that's something else is, like, there's so many bands mm-hmm. out there now and i feel like nowadays i mean maybe this isn't true but like just with my feed on my tiktok i feel like everybody wants to be a musician now oh, you know yeah. oh yeah dude because they see how glorious it is and they don't see any of like the, the worst hard hard with. times the yeah. bud being on a budget you know mm-hmm. getting mcdonald's for the week until you <laughs> shopping at aldi all the time and then you play that one show and yeah. you're like all right yeah, let's go. I'm gonna reinvest it. You know. Yeah. But cool. but uh, 
yeah that's uh i feel like that's that's pretty big is like getting to know people yeah yeah but i i get completely what you say like getting nervous around people it's not even like if somebody's like bigger like a big person that i get mm-hmm. nervous yeah. it's just like you know especially in nashville you're around so many people that are like working on like songs and like their yeah. art and so like going to like a writer's round that would stress me out dude with people that i no, didn't yeah. know yet like definitely that would definitely stress me out because like you're not as comfortable like with y'all yeah. i can just and you yeah, i could just sit there and there. do a guitar and say some dumb lyrics that don't sound good and y'all can just be like hey <laughs> no <laughs> and i'll be like okay that's fine but if somebody some else random does it, person thing yeah, i'm yeah. like mm. well that, <laughs> yeah that's hurt, the man. thing once you like build those relationships it's, it's like you said you know like you'll shut something down so quickly but yeah like, if you're nervous in a riot you'll be like eh i'm just trying to see if there's something a little better yeah you know? i'm just not sold on it do people write differently too like oh yeah dude so there's like, like all kinds of different methods and stuff because like if you're with like four people <clears throat> and every single person writes the song different like how does that how do you even get that to work like, well i mean sometimes you have like somebody and I mean, sometimes you trail off. Sometimes you'll start working on one thing because you've got an idea for like a certain part of the song. <clears throat> and then you've got like one guy trying to figure out, you know, top line, hook, you know, mm-hmm. what melody, whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, you, you just got to kind of like keep in mind like what you're there to do and like keep your heads together. And it, yeah. you, you got to constantly like feed stuff in. And so if, like you, you know, just bring a bunch of ideas though. Yeah. It's not like you're just coming up with everything <clears throat> on the spot. You yeah, know? no. Like, sometimes you do. Yeah. Like, you know, I had it right yesterday. We came up with something on the st- spot. It was pretty good. Yeah. But I mean, <clears throat> I've learned, I've literally got like a list in my notes of like little one liners that mm-hmm. might be, you know, yeah. something of oh, yeah. substance. Yeah. But I do that still Me now. Too. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's the best way to start something. And off. some of them I bet are just not good. <laughs> but I mean, they're there. You know? I mean, the worst that could happen is you write a song with it and it not be cut. You know. Yeah, that's the one thing I liked about writing songs with Mac Eason was uh, was he would just straight up tell me, man, like that's yeah. trash, like that, don't do that. I'm like, okay, and then like I would listen to me doing that anyway, and I'm like, ah, yeah, he's right. Yeah. You know, it's just like that. You have that, that hurt yeah. honesty, you know. But yeah, that's that's pretty pretty cool. Like. uh Riding in Nashville, I feel like, is just a different thing. Yeah, than, it can be. I don't know. <clears throat> it is. I mean, everything's what you make it. But, yeah. you know, I've been there almost a year come April 1st. And the first, like, last week was the first time I rode in, like, an actual room. You yeah. Know? Like, half the time it's just on somebody's couch. Yeah. You know, it's it's just a different feeling. Yeah. You just gotta keep your head straight and be like, okay, you know. If uh, if you had to say, who I guess I can't say who your favorite person to write with would be, but like, who is this baby? Yeah, I don't. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, amen. Come on. But who? Okay, so who's some of your favorite artists then? Like, like not even that you know personally. Yeah, that I listen to. Yeah, Uh, huge Co Wetzel guy. Yeah, yeah, we knew that. I knew that. That's why I had to say that. Everybody knows that. Yeah. But, um, I mean, dude, honestly, I like Co Giovanni and the Hired Guns. Dude, dude. yes. I actually really like their new album. <clears throat> dude, it's sick. Yeah, like, like Numb. I heard, dude. The, the, the I'm not going to lie, dude. I listen to that song when I'm working out sometimes. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's time. Is that you heard Giovanni? He's like, yeah, I think you showed me that one time. Yeah, they sing like Rooster Tattoo. And, dude. Yeah. What's that song you showed me? Uh, Ramon Ayala. Yeah, uh, that's it. Ramon yeah. Ayala. Ayala, yeah. that's it. Dude, yeah, they're good. And like I like I see their stuff on TikTok all the time too. Have so you like, seen them live? Uh uh-uh. uh. Dude. Where do they play at near here? <clears throat> so we saw them at the basement in uh Nashville, but I don't I don't know where they play, like around here. But we saw them there one night and they had Blame My Youth opening up for them. Mm-hmm. Also a great band. I don't know if y'all heard of Blame I don't My think Youth. I've heard of them. Look them up there. Yeah. Awesome. But like, you know, they do some cool stuff yeah. on stage. Yeah. Yeah, like they I mean and he's just he looks like a ball of energy. No, like, he is, yeah. dude. Like he's he's a funny dude. His, I mean you can tell with that music video that like, yeah, no. like they're like entertaining. They're you funny know? as all get out. Yeah. There was like a guy with a jug of milk like on stage with them that did a song with Blame My Youth, I'm pretty sure, but like they were just passing it all around, like <laughs> through the crowd, you know. 
I, I don't know, yeah, but, but it was funny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, so Giovanni, Co. those are some of... Dylan Wheeler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I like... Uh, they're all in the kind of like the same yeah, the genre. Yeah, the kind of yeah. deal, dude. Uh, like the Reaper. Yeah. Uh, Save You Now. That one's a good one. Uh, yeah, those are some of those. I like, I mean, I like the uh, the Broke Kid one. Yeah, you know? Broke Blank Kid. Yeah, Broke yeah. Blank Kid. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, I like him too. No, he's all, I think he's opening sick. Uh, at that concert. Yeah, he opened for Co. Uh, the other night when they were at, in Columbia. Yeah, I think he's the opener. And then Colby Cooper. I hadn't seen him yet live. I want to see he's him. Good. No, he's good. Because I awesome. saw uh, Co and Jelly Roll at, in Simpsonville. Yeah. And it, he, Jelly Roll put on a show. Dude, I bet. He, he made me like, I, I didn't really, I didn't really vibe with Jelly Roll as much as most people just because mm-hmm, I don't, yeah. I didn't like when he started rapping. Yeah. But then hearing him live, he started doing like, like old hip hop rap in his set. And it was like, the crowd was like, getting it you yeah, know and cool. i was like this is awesome he is cool dude. his story and like his yeah. demeanor is one of the best things about him because i'm voice. You know, i met him down i was playing rippies one night and it was the 10 to close shift and him and his manager come walking in and i'm like oh i saw that picture yeah, with you and him he came up on stage i was kind of you know i was kind of starstruck oh, i should have yeah. asked him if he wanted to sing a song with me but like i don't know yeah that was one thing I would take back and just be like, dude, you want to, you want to sing, save me with me. You know, that'd be my problem in Nashville, dude, is like, I would meet somebody that I would yeah. know. I'd be like that. I know that one song they have and it's killer. Even if they weren't like big mm-hmm. yet, but then I'd be like, I just don't want to go bother him. You know? Cause yeah. some people, some people I feel like you come up to and they're like, all right, yeah, cool. Mm-hmm. And then they just like, won't do anything. But then some people I'd, they'd probably be like, yeah, yeah, I'm down. Well, the thing with him, like his manager came up and like, you know, they came, walking through like the double doors at the back kind of mm-hmm. but you know i just see this big guy walking through and i'm like that's definitely kind of looks like jelly roll oh my god that is jelly roll yeah and like i'm i turn around to the band i was playing with i'm like y'all jelly rolls here and like that was the first like famous person that i saw down there and they were like who that's I'm like, you gotta be kidding me dude but his manager came up to me while i was like on the on the mic and he was like yo you might have jelly roll sings a song with you and i was like dude do i mind? bring him on like may i sing a song with jelly yeah. roll but i mean he came up on stage we didn't sing a song i don't know why but like we took a picture that was sick that's but awesome. he's one of the nicest guys you'll oh ever yeah meet. like seriously. Well, at that concert with co wetzel he went out because you know like they normally stay behind the amphitheater and like their tour buses mm-hmm. until they come out jelly roll came through the gate I don't think he even had security with him. Walked That's through crazy. and was he yeah. walked over to the concession stands, the beer stands, the food stands, and he was buying the people like the people in line. He was buying all their stuff. That's cool. Genuine. Which genuine. like who does that? Yeah. You know, I've n- I'd never hear Jelly anybody. Roll. Yeah, it's awesome. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so um, we hit some of your uh your favorite artists. So what uh, what is some new music you're working on? So like, uh, I've been lately. I don't know. I wrote this one the other day and uh, it's not really like anything of, you know, I've only got two songs out, but yeah. I've been working on plenty more, but there Same. was this one that, you know, kind of struck me. Cause like I said, you know, I've been living in Nashville for about a year and my creativity's kind of been somewhat spotty. But the other day I was just like, I had this, this, just two words here lately, you know, like you never mm-hmm. hear anybody really say it except like old people. Blank. Yeah. Well, here lately blank. But yeah. like I started thinking to myself, I was like, dude, how do I feel? Like, how have I felt here lately? And like, like, it just kind of like flowed. That. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's just like one of those slow kind of deep songs about like the way I've been. And, you know, that's yeah. the first song that I've been able to write by myself in a while that I could be like, yeah, I'd probably put this out. Yeah. You know, I think it's more like personal. Yeah. It's like one of those deeper ones. Yeah. You know, I like that. Not, I feel not like, like not like depressed personal, yeah. but like, you know, it's like a, one of those kinds of deals. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Some of the songs, yeah. some of the songs I write are like, they start going down the hole, like yeah. the dark hole, just cause it'll be like late at night. And it's I'm, easy I'm not to even feeling about. that way, but it's just like, Oh, this music. It's just, it's my favorite. Yeah. It's easy to slip up and write like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
But every I mean, now and then I could turn around to like the Whiskey Myers song, make it like, you know, out there in the face, you know. Yeah. Dude, what's your favorite Whiskey Myers song? Mm. I mean, I like the, what is it, Ballad of a Southern Man. It's a pretty good one. But I like, uh, <clears throat> I like Bury My Bones a lot. That's a pretty good one. Shell's favorites. Whiskey Myers? Yeah. Probably Bury My Bones. So, I don't know, Stone, too. Broken Dude. Oh, yeah, Stone. Right. Classic. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about oh, that. Oh yeah, one. that one's okay, that's that, the only one I really That's like know. everybody's favorite. I, yeah. I mean, started learning how to play. It's just harmonica. nutshell. That's yeah, like, dude, it's redneck nutshell. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I never thought of it like that. You said C you started learning minor. harmonica. Yeah, dude. We've been talking about that. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's fun, dude. It's cool. I know how to play like the little crappy part to uh, Mary Jane's Last Dance. Dang right. And that's it. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's cool. That'd that's be it, if like, you ever come to a show yeah. and you have your harmonica. <laughs> With you, yeah. we'll play Mary Jane. We'll get you <laughs> yeah. on up there, dude. That'd be a good time. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah we got our buddy. Uh, he plays saxophone. We're going to get him to come to something soon. Dude, that would be fun. He played it with us one time at Wendell's, and, uh, but, but we weren't really prepared. He just showed up, yeah. like, didn't even know what songs tell, we were playing. Please tell me you played Careless Whisper. Uh, you did not. We'll play Turn the Page. Turn though. the Page. That'll though. work. Yeah, yeah that, that'll work. That, that filled in that. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thought about buying a sax too. Yeah. Yeah. It's complicated, dude. dude. I buy it off more than I can chew half the yeah. time. Like I can <laughs> hardly play guitar, much less learn like four other instruments at the same time, which is what I'm attempting to do now. I feel like right. that's how I am with music or like yeah. just entertainment in general. I yeah. take it a little too far. There's always room to expand, <laughs> man. I love it though. You beat it, dude. There's always more you can do. Oh, yeah. 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 So, uh, do you have any upcoming shows in Nashville you want to announce? This will be out on Thursday. So, so um, if you're going to be in Nashville, I will more than likely be down at Rippy's on the Roof from 6 to 10 on Friday and Saturday. And if you're coming through the airport, I'll be at the Tootsies at the airport from 6 to close on Thursdays. So, Is that this weekend or? Uh, next weekend. Next weekend? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, weekend like of the 18th that, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I don't know my dates that well. I don't either. That's another dude. musician's I don't even know life. What day it is. Yeah. Every day is just Saturday to me, honestly. <laughs> yeah. It'd be like that. Yeah. The only thing keeping me in the week is school. That's yeah. not it. And Tuesday. Gigs. It's Tuesday today. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, uh, that's how you Junior, know you're a real Junior, musician Junior. right there. Yeah. You don't know what day. Well, what was it? How'd that video go? You sent Wait, me that so one time. Tuesday, right? Yeah. <laughs> what video? It was, I think it was Steel Panther or something. That guy. <laughs> Steel Panther. You know who I think is their guitar player or something. What was he doing? He said something about um, waking up at two o'clock and couldn't even remember what he ate for lunch. Or no, I don't, I don't remember how it goes. I think I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember what he said. I can't either. That was forever wow. ago. Those dudes oh, are wild. Oh yeah, they're funny though. Crazy. I'm going to start dressing like that. Yeah, yeah. I'll pay you. <laughs> if you send me a picture of you on stage Jeff Hardy. wearing something like that, Heck I will no, pay dude, you I couldn't money. do it. Yeah. I couldn't do it. They couldn't even get me in some leprechaun stuff the other day. He wore, he yeah. wore like green suspenders <laughs> he off He didn't even of wear them. Yeah. Down. <laughs> I wore like one for a while. You got to get in the spirit, baby. Uh, Come on, uh, man. You going to get pinched up in here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, green also. Yeah. I was greened out. I had green tire, <laughs> yeah. green shirt. I had the green Let's hat. Go. I think I had green underwear on that day, dude. I was Come sitting on. there getting it, man. Green though. I looked. Yeah. I literally looked like a leprechaun. <laughs> How'd you play? I actually. I felt it. I felt it pretty good. I felt better when I put my sunglasses on because I was like, okay, now that's we're cool. usually what happens when cool you green out. Yeah, yeah. It wore me out. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I'm going to get me a bagel. Yeah, this bagel. has been a good oh, Sully well, Steamers. Go down there. Y'all going to Sully's? To. Both y'all? Kind of want to. I'm done. You want to go too? Yeah. Sweet. Let's do it. Well, this has been a great podcast. Y'all go check out Justin Corley's stuff. That was fun. Yeah. Please. Enjoyed it, man. Make yeah. me famous, please. Yeah. Blow <laughs> Thank him y'all for having me, though. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. it, man. We'll do, do it again. You. We'll do it again soon. That would be so sweet. Yeah. I'm actually planning on coming to Nashville uh, soon. I thought about it next week because it's my spring break. Yeah. But I'm not 100% sure. But if I do... uh. I'll probably crash at Mac and Hunters, mm -hmm. and then I may, I may bring some of this stuff and run a podcast. But it, that would not but be with, a bad idea without y'all, it's kind of like not the Bennett buzz. But it'd still it. be fun. Yeah, it'd be cool. I'll just bring the banner and we need it. all this stuff. <laughs>
<laughs> have you a little Nashville episode? Yeah, that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. Be cool. Yeah, I'll show you around some places. That'd be you fun. A lot of cool stuff. I love that. I would come during the weekday too, because yeah. like on the weekends, that's when everybody's yeah dispersed. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Well, cool. It's been a good podcast. See y'all guys. next time.